For more than 160 years, the American Society of Civil Engineers has been at the forefront of the civil engineering profession, thanks to the leadership and technical breadth and depth of our members. ASCE is the voice of the collaborative efforts of more than 140,000 passionate and committed civil engineers whose mission is clear, to protect the health, safety, and welfare of our public's future by continuing to advance the profession. As the trusted leader of the civil engineering profession, we are committed to supporting and improving the public good, both nationally and globally. It's about support of the civil engineering industry, it's about professional development, and it's about camaraderie. It really is. It is so invigorating to go to a technical presentation or a conference or even a local section meeting and see your friends and your colleagues exchange ideas and thoughts have some rigorous discussion about our engineering industry and where we're going. And to me, ASCE is the perfect venue for that. For decades, ASCE has been the recognized expert and advocate for the responsible and sustainable development of the built and natural environment. Our engineer members are committed to applying their expertise toward a safe and environmentally sound infrastructure. Well, I'm an environmental engineer and virtually everything environmental engineers do is driven by public policy decisions. ASC has been a real leader in incorporating the concepts of sustainable development into public policy questions. Policymakers need uh, accurate and uh, truthful information. One of the most important is the report card put out by ASCE. It provides the necessary information to frame properly the infrastructure health of our nation and uh, ASCE is a trusted source of information and expertise in the area of uh, our nation's infrastructure. When natural disasters and man-made events take our country by storm, ASCE is there to learn the critical lessons and help ensure that future designs better protect our citizens for years to come. A lot of our standards are, are predicated on saving lives. We want to build a structure that if it ex exposed to something like an earthquake, that that standard that we created um, is number one focused on life safety, number two focused on the asset value of the structure, number three provides a, a pathway for sustainable reconstruction. And, and over time we're gathering more and more information on how our earth is evolving and how different uh, events take place, why they took place, and the more we know about the roots of those, the more our standards can be tailored to address them. In addition to being the leader in safe engineering practices, ASCE is also the world's largest publisher of civil engineering related content. Publications is arguably one of the most important parts of the society and used by many, if not all, civil engineering academics around the world. It's a fantastic resource and one of the great uh, repositories of, of academic information there is. ASCE is committed to helping our members design and build sustainable infrastructure around the globe. These structures play a pivotal role in building productive and resilient communities, protecting the environment, and ensuring a better future for all. Um, one thing many may not realize, ASCE has 17,000 members residing overseas. I think this is a major step in developing our global strategies. We are promoting an industry, we are wasting the standard, we're also providing guidelines for engineering practice for engineers worldwide. Sustainable infrastructure is about people. When we start a project, it's always starting from what the people are, where they live, the environments they live in, and then using infrastructure to make their lives better. In civil engineering projects, we look at a triple bottom line, where we look at how does this project benefit not only the economic bottom line, but also how does it help people and how does it help improve the environment. Civil engineering is a demanding field that requires a broad and evolving knowledge base to practice successfully. To better prepare the next generation for tomorrow's challenges, we are actively working with industry allies to strengthen educational requirements for future professional practice. One of the unique things that ASCE has done is established or developed a body of knowledge, which is essentially a standard for what civil engineers need to know, what skills they need, and what attitudes they need to have in order to be successful as practicing civil engineers in the 21st century. 
You know, we're in an environment where everything is changing and everything is changing rapidly. It's important that we step back, look at the overall environment, look way out to the future, and make sure that the young people who are coming into engineering are, are getting trained, getting educated, getting the right tools to meet the needs of the future. ASCE is absolutely involved in this initiative because things are changing. We need to train them for tomorrow, not train them for today. Participating in student organizations, specifically the American Society of Civil Engineers, was the turning point of my decision to go into civil engineering, what I want to do, and why I love it so much. Since its inception over 160 years ago, ASCE has devoted its efforts to advancing both individual civil engineers and the profession as a whole, and will continue to be the flagship of innovation and leadership for generations to come. ASCE, serving our members, bettering our communities, improving our way of life.